Hi, I'm Brianna Arevalo and I'm the project manager. Hi, I'm Ian Blanco and I'm the project coordinator. Hi, I'm Natalia Gallo and I'm the research manager and creative design lead. And, and together, together we are I Dream. So our main issue was pollution in the ocean and some facts about that are um, plastic accumulating in our oceans and our beaches has become a global, a global crisis. Billions of pounds of plastic can be found swirling substances that make up about 40% of the world's ocean services. At current rates, plastic is expected to outweigh all the fish in the sea by 2050. And another detail is over 1 million marine animals, including mammals, fish, turtles, and birds are, are killed each year due to plastic debris in the ocean. This is a visual display of the amount of pollution in our oceans from 2004 to 2015 in billions. As you can see, this has increased by many. Using that, uh, we were inspired by a story we, call, we saw of Snaggle the fur seal. Snaggle was found in the Californian ocean with brightly colored netting wrapped around his neck which left him not being able to open his mouth to get food or eat food. Um, after scientists found him, they were able to save him and, he, and they were able to um, recover him back to a stable state. And now he is living freely in the ocean again. And on the next slide, there's a video of Snaggle. Because of a result of Snaggle, we were inspired by him, which led us to use the... Which led us to use the engineering design process. We use the engineering design process to guide us through the problem, research, and development in testing of the challenge. Our employer and research continue us using many different sites to develop information quickly to think of our solution. We used a range of sites all, all emphasizing issues of pollution and how it's endangering our environment. Our group brainstormed and imagined the idea we have here today, the MPV, the Marine Pollution Vacuum. We as a group planned together on how we should go about the solution. Creating the prototype took a lot of effort, but we managed to devise the MPV. Create. As we started to come up with the MPV, Marine Pollution Vacuum, we made multiple prototypes and drawings about this gadget. Our first one being, and that's a picture of it, and how it works is that there's a thermal sensor in front of the opening and closing doors of the vacuum, and it would do the, it would make, uh, it would make, choose whether something is flush or pollution and if it's pollution, it will let it, it will open up and let it go through. A list of materials slash cost of the items. So first we used a plastic storage box that was five fifty eight dollars. Second, we used a fishing net that was four dollars and ninety six cents. Then we continue to use Crayola air dry clay from Walmart that is 
$5.47. We used silicone reusable straws that were $4.94. Lastly, we used tin foil that was $1.98. Our total of the prototype was $17.35. Using our first prototype, we realized that uh, using plastic trash bags would kind of defeat the whole purpose of being eco-friendly. We also conducted that using plastic trash bags would logically cause for too much water to be sucked in on accident. Following with the engineering design process and help from some scientific reports on ocean pollution, we made improvements on our prototype. Um, compared to our first sketch, we have improved significantly. After we received critique on the prototype, we quickly thought of ways to make up a new device. First, we saw how the plastic bag on the MPV contradicts the whole idea, so we switched that out for a net that is more eco-friendly. And this is our prototype. The thermal sensor just broke off. And basically how it worked is that it was supposed to open up and yeah. This is another visual representation of how the prototype looks when in person. We contacted two experts. Our first expert we, con we contacted was Dr. Kayunta, a biochem professor at UTA. A second person, an expert that we contacted was the Marine Mammal Center, which specializes in rescue and rehabilitation, rehabilitation, scientific research and education. Unfortunately, neither responded, which led us to read articles about the ocean pollution and ask people that we know what they think about our issue and ways they think we can improve our product. Some resources that we used to get our information were the works.org, marine mammal center.org, biological diversity.org, and conserved turtles.org. Thank, Thank you. you. Any, Any questions? questions?